I'm covering 3319, which is Cranes and Derricks, under Chapter 33 for 2014 New York City Building Code. And the two documents that are required on site are both the Certificate of Approval and Certificate of Operation in order to operate a crane or a derrick. I'm going to read the following for 3319.4 Certificate of Approval and then followed by 3319.5 Certificate of Operation. Certificates of Approval shall comply with the following. One, the manufacturer, owner, or designated representative of a crane or derrick for which a Certificate of Approval is sought shall file an application for such Certificate of Approval and provide such information as set forth in rules promulgated by the Commissioner. Two, upon the Department's approval of the application described in Item 1 above, the Department shall issue a Certificate of Approval for the equipment and provide... Backtrack on that. Reread number two. Upon the Department's approval of the application described in Item 1 above, the Department shall issue a Certificate of Approval for the equipment and an approval of the submitted load rating chart. 3. A new Certificate of Approval shall be required when a crane or derrick is modified or altered to increase the boom length jibs or any extensions to the boom beyond the maximum approval length or when the load ratings are increased. Next section, 3319.5, Certificate of Operation. Certificate of Operation shall comply with the following. One, the commissioner shall issue the initial Certificate of Operations for the crane or derrick with Certificate of Approval upon satisfactory inspection and tests indicating that such crane or derrick is in safe operating condition. The initial certificate of operation shall expire one year from the date of issuance. Two, the owner of a crane or derrick covered by the certificate of operation shall renew the certificate of operation each year. If the owner of the covered crane or derrick applies for a renewal of a certificate of operation within not more than 60 nor less than 30 days prior to the date of its expiration, such owner may continue to use the covered crane or derrick until the department grants or denies a new certificate. 4. When a crane or derrick configuration is changed to increase the boom length, jibs, or any extensions to the boom beyond the maximum approval length or when the load ratings are increased, a new certificate of operation shall be required. In such a case, the crane or derrick may not be operated until the new certificate of operation is obtained. 5. An application for a new certificate of operation shall be submitted when attachments that affect the stability or structure of the crane or derrick are added, calculations and load rating charts are required by rules promulgated by the commissioner shall be submitted with the renewal request. Next one, 3319.6, Certif Certificate of On-Site Inspection. The last of the three items the three main items that are required in order to operate a crane or a derrick. Certificates of on-site inspection shall comply with the following. One, the equipment user or his or her designated representative shall obtain a certificate of on-site inspection for the use of any crane or derrick used for construction or demolition purposes at each job site. Such application for the Certificate of On-Site Inspection shall include information set forth in rules promulgated by the Commissioner. 2. Upon approval of the application, a copy of such approval shall be given to the applicant. It shall be unlawful to operate the equipment that is the subject of the approval 
until it has been inspected and found to be satisfactory by the department as set forth in rules promulgated by the commissioner. Upon inspection and a finding of satisfactory compliance, the approval shall be deemed a certificate of on-site inspection, which shall expire one year from the date of issuance. A certificate of on-site inspection may be renewed in accordance with rules promulgated by the commissioner. Three, the certificate of on-site inspection is valid only if the conditions and statements contained in the approved application are compelled, complied with, and the crane or derrick is operated in conformance with the provisions of this section, the rules applicable, applicable thereto. Four, a certificate of on-site inspection is not required for derricks or cranes performing work exempted from such requirement by rules promulgated to the commissioner. Now there's the temporary certificate that is offered, and that is under 3319.7, temporary certificate. The commissioner may issue temporary certificate, certificate of approval, operation, and on-site inspection for any crane or derrick during the pendency of an application for a certificate of approval and operation upon inspection and upon such analysis and testing as the commissioner may deem necessary, the commissioner may revoke such temporary certificates if the application is denied. And that is it for this section. That's